Hello guys and welcome back to episode 39 of Hammer Time. This could be the day, the episode, we win the title. So in the league table, we are now sitting top still, but by three points. We lost to Manchester United, which saw them go within one point of us. We then beat Brighton 3-1 in a really, really good game. Now we play Fulham, but United play Chelsea at home. I want to just show you where the league table sits. So any other result for United, apart from a win or a draw against Chelsea, could see them lose the title. If we win our game, it goes to goal difference. I've already checked the rules. League sorting rules, it goes off goal difference, goals scored, and then results between teams. So essentially, your goal difference, you're looking at us being 11 off Man United. So we have to beat them on points. I think, I think that's pretty much it at this point. We have to beat them on points. Team selection-wise, who are we going to go for? So Raspador is going to have to go up front as Makoko has picked up a bit of an injury, which is disappointing towards the end of the season. Armada is injured. D. Ketelair is injured. So Jesse Lingard comes in to replace him. Other than that, Zuma comes out. Mancini returns to the side. Weston McKennie and Calvin Phillips played a pretty good game in the previous one. But Basuma has been in good it form as well, but I'm going to bring Aya back into play that DM role because he just plays it so much better. Justin and Wijendal. Wijendal not having the best few games to be honest, so I'm going to play James Justin there and bring Max Ahrens into that right back role because mm. uh, James Justin has been playing really really well, so he's going to get a little game bit of game time there. Uh, Phil Foden can return back into the side for Luis Suarez um, and that's going to be pretty much it I think. That's going to be how we're going to line up for this game. It's a big one it's against Fulham. I'll join you back for when we kick off. I'm going to kick straight into this because I might watch the key highlights of the Chelsea United game because I think that'll be a nice little suspenseful ending to this episode. So I'll get through this. I'm assuming we're winning this um, because Fulham are just sitting in that relegation spot. So I'll bring you back for the highlights of this game and how it goes. As you can see in the top right, that's how the league table looks. If we draw, we need the win, essentially, to keep ourselves six points ahead of United, uh, forcing them to have the pressure on them to to get those six points out of the last two games as we have a highlight here straight from the off but I've got a sneeze Demir's on the ball gives it to Raspadori Lingard back to Demir can we finish we can't and luckily I'd probably be able to cut that out if I don't enjoy that sneeze we've come up to half time it's still nil nil pump the lads up the score line doesn't reflect the game as you have the ability to make the difference I'm going to say that again and then up front, you weren't too bad, but come on, the, a little bit of more of a push, and we're there. We, we, the league is in our hands. I don't want it to come down to the final day at all. A, a loss for United tomorrow could see them still lose the league, as Fulham have a highlight here. No way. Mancini heads it away. Lingard, he's straight on him. Sahiri, I, I believe that's how you say it. He played it out, and it's a great block in as McKenny picks up the ball now. Can we come forward with it? He goes down this right-hand side. No one's closing him down. He gives it to Yusuf Demir, who's very technical on the ball. Aaron's into McKenny, into Lingard. Can he find Raspadori? He can't. And now Fulham seem... Look like they're going to go forward again as Bogle has it, and it's intercepted beautifully. Feet on the ball. Back to Ergakan. And we can play it out slowly from the back yet again. Demir on it. Can he find a ball forward? He finds Foden. Can he play Raspadori through? He does. Raspadori with the shot. And you expect him to score there. That is... Oh, it's painful. It's painful to watch. I'm going to bring Kurt Zuma on because I can't afford feet to get sent off at this point. As feet handled the ball. I thought he might have put it in the back of the net. He handled it into the net. A pretty good game so far, actually. Is Aya. Hold on, we've got, we've got a corner here. Demir whips one in. Can we get our head on it? Zuma's there. And with Phil Foden, the man, the myth, the legend, Phil Foden. He's done it. He's done it. I'm going to bring Basuma on for Aya. But Phil Foden at the back stick has managed to... to Seal a, not seal a win, but at least give us the advantage here against Fulham to see us go six points clear at the top, pile that pressure onto Manchester United. As you can see, six points ahead with well two games remaining for Manchester United, so we, we could still lose the last game of the season and see us just really, really just bottle it, if anything. The Miz having a great game. Lingard's going to come off for Suarez, I think, uh, so Suarez can play that shadow striker role he's a bit unhappy he hasn't been playing in that deep line forward role but four minutes of added time this will probably be the end of the the first game that we're going to be watching together and that's it there we have it dressing room I, i'm pretty much sure it, it's going to be a tight game for manchester united at this point 
as we're walking around the pitch. I don't believe we've won the league here. With one match, match remaining, title challenge throughout the season, we'll be looking to... Right, I, I was panicking then because I thought we might have won the league and I'm just not celebrating at all. It comes down to United in this Sunday game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there. I'm going to watch it. This is how invested I am at this point. I'm going to watch that game because it could come down to just that game there and then the last game of the season well i'll probably bring an episode for that anyway but i want to be with you when and if we win the league so here we go it's it's a big game against arsenal as well to try and take it to them if we have to go to the final day of the season here we are the teams are warming up we're attending the united chelsea game i like this little screen for the warm-ups it, it looks pretty interesting you've got to admit we're going to go to kickoff and we're going to watch the united chelsea game and this is going to be huge we're we're watching the monkey highlights, so it's going to be like any other game, but we're just attending this game, watching this from afar as Mukiele plays the ball through. Uh, interesting lineups for both teams here. Sancho has the ball. Mukiele on this right hand side, he's playing right back. Mukiele goes to the byline, finds Sancho in the middle, and it, United looking venomous already. Within six minutes, they've gone one nil up against Chelsea, who don't look to be in the greatest form at the moment. As Sancho has the ball, gives it to Mukiele, and he. he it runs to the byline and gets a great ball in. San Chelsea just not not looking fantastic so far, but we'll have to see how this game pans out. Ten minutes in, there's another highlight. Mendy with the ball plays it out. Can he find anyone? He can't. Varane heads it down to Fernandez though. He's got a clean run through on goal here. Can he finish? He does. And ten minutes up in, United are two 0 up. It's looking fantastic for United so far. I'm not going to lie. It's looking. They're looking very, very comfortable. It's getting a bit embarrassing for Chelsea as they said it down there in the commentary. Varane heads it forward. Fernandez picks up the ball. There's three at the back there, and no one closes him down. No one touches him, and they can just slip it home past Mendy. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. As Chelsea coming forward now. Graven Birch on the ball. Gives it, or tries to give it out to Porro. But Lamps is there to intercept on this left-hand side. Gives it to Sancho. And Sancho gets running. And when he gets running, he doesn't stop running. And he's going forward. Can he finish? Flipping heck. This is lethal. United are on smoke. United are absolutely going for it this game. They, need, they know they need this win. And what a run by Sancho, by the way. Takes it by his man. Runs to the byline. Keeps going. The defender can't keep up with him. Takes his shot. Beats Mendy near post. Looks like he faked going far post. Slams it near post. And Mendy have an absolute shocker. Chelsea having a really, really poor game. As you can see, the average rating. Absolutely disgraceful. Mukiele on the ball. Can he maybe find the ball forward again? Bruno Fernandes picks it up. Into Pogba. We know he's very, very good on football managers. Vlahovic plays a ball to Sancho, which is phenomenal. And Pedro Porro trips him up. Oh my life. This is going to be a decimation. United making sure that we can't win the league on goal difference. This is scary. Penalty awarded. Sancho runs up. Tucks that home. Is that for his hat-trick? It might be for his hat-trick. I can't remember. Yeah, that's for his hat-trick against Chelsea. 4-0. Scary times. Scary, scary times. He tucks that away perfectly into the bottom left-hand corner. This would be some comeback for Chelsea as the highlight again. Reese James on it. Kovacic now into Havertz. Pings it forward. Lukaku just can't get there as Maguire plays that back safely. Vlahovic on it now. Gives it to Greenwood. Who get, gives it back to Vlahovic. He curls one. 5-0 after 35 minutes. <sighs> United are going for it. They want this league. They want this league. And this is what's scary. They go away from home to Tottenham and in this form... I can't see them losing. Mason Mount picks it up. Pings it out wide to Chilwell. Can he get a ball in? He can't. Mason Mount picks it up now. Back into Chilwell. He can now get a ball. And Lukaku's there. But Day is there with the save. Comfortably. And United. It looks like they're still trying to go for it, I think. De Gea's going to try and play this ball out. Gives it to Mukiele down this right-hand side. Where they've been absolutely lethal going down this right-hand side. Kimmich into Maguire. Back into Varane. Pogba now plays it back to De Gea riskily. But De Gea pings it out and Vlahovic is going to win that header. Bruno Fernandes running through on goal. Can he finish? It's six. He's made it six. Fernandes now on for a hat-trick. Vlahovic. I'm watching this now knowing Vlahovic is a bit of a target man. A bit of a demon in the air. And then Fernandes, much like we do, we play that shadow striker. Fernandes comes through and he's just lethal himself as well. Unbelievable. 6-0 Man United against Chelsea. This goal difference... This is scary. The 92nd minute now. That's going to be full time. And that sees it go to an, another episode. 
another episode. 16 goals in hand they have. They've scored 11 goals more than us, 5 less conceded, so 16 go goal difference in hand. Comes down to the final day of the season. Look forward to that next episode where it'll be against Arsenal. It's going to be unreal. It's going to be so, so tight. We're going to have to see how we can fare against a, a tricky Arsenal side who... Let's have a look how, just before we get into it, let's have a look how Arsenal have been doing so far. Um, recently, schedule-wise, they went out of the Champions League to Liverpool. They beat Norwich, they play Fulham, and then they play us away from home at our stadium. Should be a fantastic one to join. So join us next time. It's going to be do or die for this season, I think. Uh, United have to win their game against Tottenham as well, bear in mind. We only have to draw to get the title. I think it's going to be the lowest amount of points for a long time. 91, 91, 101, 81 points for a winning season. It's pretty low if you can if you compare it to previous seasons. Pretty low, 10 off. So yeah, hopefully we get something out of it. Join us next time and it should be an interesting game, a very interesting game. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please as ever leave a like, subscribe if you are new to make sure you get the notification for when we have the next episode as it'll be an entertaining one. So yeah, thanks for watching. From me, Alex, have a great day. Ciao.